sometimes, Drew, you just gotta cut loose. Yeah, is this Dirt 4? This is Dirt 4. All right. This is Roden. This is the crew. Oh, okay. Uh, from Ubisoft. They're running a, a closed beta this week. They gave out some keys to it. And, uh, you know, actually, so I have a bunch of keys, uh, some extra keys here that I'll throw in the comments of this video. So oh, okay, if people cool. want to redeem them. They'll be Uplay keys for the PC. So you have to install Uplay and put them in there. Anyway, um, this is the so they crew. Can crew it up with you? Yeah, so they can crew it up. Well, maybe not with me, but, you know, okay. they can get out there Getting and crew their it up own with crews. Yeah, get start crews and all cruise. that other stuff. Cru start a crew and cruise. Do the crew. You want to get with me, you got to do them too. All right. Just like N2Deep said about the crew and the doing of said crew. You just crewed that sign. I did. That sign was not a part of my crew. So this is an open world uh, driving game. I can see that. Um, and they have- You're going been, all over the world. That's, I'm in the Midwest right now. Uh, they've got a story. Um, like a story story? Like a story story. Really? Wherein your brother gets murdered at the outset. Whoa, at the beginning, what? And he's the head of the five tens, and they're a street gang, and then five years pass, and now you're trying to infiltrate the five tens, and they call their leader, they have ranks for all the people in the regional, they're like a nationwide uh, smuggling gang. Okay. Because this takes place, you know, it's the whole country here. Yeah. And the dumbest thing, the dumbest, most, like, screenplay-sounding bullshit... I have heard in a good long time is in uh -huh. this game, wherein the leader of the, the, the car crew, called the Five Tens, is referred to as the V8. <laughs> and then there are, you, you know, I'm trying to become a V1. I'm trying to, like, get my ink and become a V1. But then the V2s are a little bit better, and the V6s, and, like, so it's ridiculous. Wow. There's a rank system for this underground ring of Yes, this underground ring car of, of car, car weirdos and, and it, 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 originally it sounded like they were just, uh, you know, street racing and, and causing a ruckus and now they're straight up smugglers. What's an urban scramble? It sounds delicious. You called the right guy. Urban scramble's delicious, you know, it's uh, got some a lot cheese. of Yeah, some jalapenos and just the whole thing. Nice. What does the license plate say? Uh, can, can Nothing. Yo, make sure you take every last dollar from these fools. So I'm trying to prove myself to uh, the guy who runs the 510 chapter in Detroit. Are, the, are they... Because I'm did trying they to... start in Oakland? Is that why they're called the 510s? Uh, no. So there's been no explanation of what the fuck the 510s are. And that really bothers me. Maybe there are five cars that are all V10s. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. I don't know. I Wait, don't is know. 510 Oakland? Yes. Is it like... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Racing. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so so we're in a race. So, uh, like I said, so basically, I get framed for my brother's murder. I do some time, mm. and then you know, in classic fashion, they they want to catch the dirty cops and the, and the people of the the guy that's running the five tens now. So I'm the only person who can do it. So they get get me out of jail, and uh, I'm trying to infiltrate the crew, the the five tens and bring down the rogue FBI agent that set me up and all this other stuff. Wow, intrigue, intrigue. Oh boy. Oh geez. Well in the wall. That's yeah. So uh, do you have a crew? Are you infiltrating the crew? Who's the where's the crew? Well, so the, the oh, crew, boy. I guess the crew can kind of mean different things in different aspects of the game. A lot of this game can be played cooperatively. Uh, and you can kind of form your own crew that way. Okay. And are you then playing story missions together? Yes. Yeah, like this could have we could have done this co-op. And I think the the key to proceeding at that it's point, like you're the only that one that could. We got to break you and this other guy. That looks like you out of jail. Yeah, is that how it we got to break break four of you out of jail. <laughs> um, but I, I think in, one, in, in, in co-op, I think you just you know one player just has to beat the AI for okay. things to proceed. So as long as one person finishes first, you at least proceed in the story. Uh, but this game is kind of set up almost. I mean, not not entirely like it, but. You know, they've been kind of trying to make MMO-like references to kind of what you what you do. And that's what I get for talking and driving, I mm. guess. But as you finish, you earn parts. Your car has a level. You are leveling up, and you're spending perk points. You're specking out uh, different things. You are, uh, you know, unlocking all your car customization stuff that way. Um, Yo, make sure you take so my car, my current car has a level. I have a level, um, and, and so on. 
Uh, I'll earn parts that will have different rarities associated with them, depending on if I get a gold medal, I'll get a gold part that might uh, have a, a, a bit of a bonus compared to the bronze version of that part. Okay. So that kind of gives you a reason to want to finish first in every single event, because you want to unlock all of these parts. We can actually skip this. This is my first time racing on dirt. So they've got a lot of different events. They've got, you know, the, the one I did before this was a raid where I was driving an off-road vehicle and, and taking down a truck, like Chase HQ style, Ooh. Uh, that had kind of a smuggler's run feel to it. So they're trying to, you know, give you like a, a good variety of things to do. And a lot of the different cars can be outfitted to fit these different specs. So you can take like a 370Z and make it an off-road vehicle by jacking it up and doing all this cool shit to it that I think looks really cool. And I think, I really like what they do with the car designs in this game. Hmm. Um, like, they're basically just turning tuner cars into crossover SUVs. And I think it's like a cool dune buggy-ish look uh, that, I, that I really appreciate. Cool. Yes. I mean, oh, oh, shit. Boy. That's... Yeah, that's not gonna... Oh, oh damn boy. it. Damn it. I don't know that I can catch up from that. Can you just restart? Yeah. Is that, a, is that a cell phone interface? Yep. Yep, it is. Don't look at your phone and drive, Jeff. That's uh, how I got into this trouble in the first place. I feel like every time I've played this game in various preview events, it has gotten a little bit better. The hmm. first time I saw the crew, it looked bad. We saw it way early. Like it, This was at the previous E3. Yes, yeah. Uh, 2013 Z3. Exactly, and then uh, and then I saw it for the first time at the launch of the PlayStation 4. They were showing it running on PCs with PS3 controllers attached to it, mm -hmm. uh, and it didn't it didn't look so hot. Okay. Um, but you know, then I saw it kind of before E3 this year and played some more of it, and uh, and and warmed up to it. And uh, I think that what they're doing is is interesting, um, you know, structurally, and so on. Okay, let's just take that like yeah. that and just go. All right, that's good. All right, that's racing games. Yeah. So, Jeff, you're saying that games get better as they get developed? Yeah, weird, right? Uh, but, but this was a game that, like, it, it looked rough in a way that you're like, I don't think this is going to pan out. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, like, like this, this is going to take, uh, they're going to have to move some mountains to get this thing in shape. And it seems like it is at least starting to shape up. I'm not, I'm not convinced that it's, like, some amazing, like, world-beating driving game, but sure. hey, you know what? They picked the right year to put this thing out because there's no need for speed this year. Hmm. Alright. I mean, this looks good. Yeah. And we're playing the PC version. This, this is the only platform the, the beta's on, but yeah, it's coming to other stuff. So part of that uh, E3 2013 press conference reveal was like, you're playing this game, but then a whole bunch of people are playing this game. You can hop in their games too. You can all game together. Yeah. Have uh, you seen any of that gaming? Yeah, it'll... So I got the silver medal there. 5-0. And I got a fuel injection part here that is going to have bonus braking. All right. Uh, so I don't I don't want to put this on because it'll actually lower my impact. I have Your better brakes on impact. the car, or better better fuel injection on the car already. So uh, I think that's just overall impact to the car. It would lower the car level. I could look and see, you know, kind of go, what's it actually going to do? But we'll, we'll, oh, I see. We'll stock this part. We'll we'll send it away. Got it. We don't need it. I get some bonus points for, you know, how long I was in first and stuff like numbers. that. Uh, and we will continue on. Great. Uh, so when you're in free drive here, you will kind of seamlessly see, you know, sort of like Test Drive Unlimited or Journey or Destiny or every other video game. Every other Ubisoft game. Yeah, you will, you will seamlessly match up with other players and, and kind of go in and out of, uh, of multiplayer situations. All right, that's cool. You driving out of the place that you just did that race? Yeah. That, ooh, what is happening on the She's right? my contact <laughs> She's uh, in, the, in the FBI. Oh, okay. All okay, right, so I, if I, I go to the station, I guess I can just go other places, huh? Buy so your car there? I probably haven't been to any of these other spots, so... Oh, tra transport has a price associated with it, I see. Uh, so you can kind of warp around the country and stuff like that. Not cheap to ship a car. No, no, it's uh, crazy. Shipping cars is, is really nuts. Honestly, though, like that that little thing where you're driving out of the the area you just raced in into the open world, right? Is I think big because 
it goes a long, it's a little thing that goes a long way to tying together this whole like, you're racing across the country thing. Right, yeah. Uh, along the way, you know, in, in addition, you'll, you'll see kind of police response, and that's where that police watch thing up, is up there. Uh oh. So I, I've been given a mission here. Which, Ooh, look at that squiggly GPS yeah, line. Yeah, I get a squiggly GPS line here. This is still early going. They're kind of feeding you missions one after the other and, and kind of keeping you going. Um, though I imagine at any point I could just say screw it and just start driving across country. Really? Yeah. That's impressive. And a lot of these things you can fast travel to, so you know I can conceivably just drive somewhere and then... I want to see what that is. I, I haven't stopped for one of these yet. I'm just not sure what... Highland Park and... See cutscene. All right, let's see this cutscene. It's a pretty cool cutscene. Yeah. Boy, they spent a lot of money on that. Yes, this logo here and the noise that comes along with it. So this, we could sit here and we could watch this for hours. Really? Is this what's been happening to you? Shh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It, it has not been the most stable beta. Mm. Pre-release software, folks. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So it yep. seems like it, it's a game that requires a server connection and all this other stuff because you are kind of. Uh, there we go. Oh, well, oh no. no. That was just it. Rebuilding the logo. Have they? Have they said that uh, you require an internet connection to play? I don't know for sure. I imagine it would have an offline mode. Mm. Um, it doesn't seem like a game that necessarily, you know, requires you to be on the internet. It's not like play. raids. Yeah. F no. Forty car raid. Yeah. Forty car or gumball, three thousand. Mm -hmm. Does it feel like that kind of game? Like a gumball game? Well, you know, I mean, like I, across I, the, I, you're not racing across the country though. What was that? game that did try to do that. Uh, Need for Speed The Run. The Run, yes. Yeah. Um, that game had issues. Uh, I have to imagine that if you're working with the entirety of the country here, that at some point you would build in an event that is drive across the country. Huh. Uh, like a, a cross-country race, whether you do it in segments or, or something like, or, or just let people do it. Because you can just drive from one end of the nation to the other. That's cool. It sounds like that takes a little over an hour. Hmm. Speaking of a long time... Uh-huh. Yeah, this might just be hosed. We might just toss this whole quick look. I don't know. Uh, we could we could come back to it. Yeah. You want to you wanna take an edit point? Let me, let me just hammer on this button a couple more times. I'm kind of okay. digging the noise of the logo, doing whatever it is the logo does. Pretty cool. Huh? Boom. Because occasionally it blacks out like that and starts all over. And you think it's doing something, and then it doesn't. Yeah, it's just like when... Uh the hold music on like Comcast or something yep. stops. Yeah. Uh, hello? What? And then it starts up again. You're like, thanks. Forgot what the beginning of that song sounded like. Yeah. Oh, I know. Great motion capture in this cutscene. Yeah. That's my favorite noise. A little high pitched little. Oh. Yeah! That was pretty good, too, though. Okay. All right, well, yeah, let's uh, let's come back to this later and, you know, see if we can make it work. Uh, it was giving me this tr this trouble yesterday, so we held off a day thinking that would help, but... Uh, what's it say here in the bottom? Beta content does not represent the final quality of the product. I hope not. Well, I would hope not. All right, Jeff. All right, Drew, let's, uh, let's come back to this. All right, Drew, we're back in. It works! It works. For now. For now. Okay. Um, we're back in the world. Mm -hmm. We've got our shiny blue line. Let's, yep. uh, let's go see the story mission. Because it seems like it could be a pivotal one. It had a cutscene, after all. Yeah. How, uh, how... Uh, are there a lot of cutscenes? Um... There aren't a ton so far, but, you know, this is, this is like four missions in. Okay. So it's, it's kind of hard to say. All right. Like I said, the, the thing does have a storyline. You, you are kind of talking to characters a lot. 
about your your place in the world, your place in the five tens, all that sort of stuff. There are places in Detroit that look like this? Sure, I guess. I don't know. I've never been. I thought it was just all on fire. Well, this is, you know, this is the far-flung future. Okay. This is new Detroit. New Detroit. Yeah! I saw you have a boost. Yep. Yeah, I've got nitrous that I'm building up. Um, I like skidding and stuff, earning kudos. It seems like there's some aspect of like kind of burnout-ish sort of stuff of drive dangerously to, uh, you know, to earn more boost, mm -hmm. to refill your meter and stuff. Escape the cops. You can't run, but you can't. You can run, but you can't. I bet this is actually just a point-to-point -point race. We'll see. I haven't really had to deal with the cops too much in this game so far, so... It's the fourth episode of True Detective. Yeah. Here we go. It's a lot of cops, Jeff. It's a lot of cops. Here we go. We're in it. Now I'm driving. Hi. Okay, no, it is not a point-to-point -point race. It is straight up... Outrun the cops. Huh. Hey, slippery. Like a like a fish or a you know how to lose that shit, right? Drive really fast and don't get caught. Something else slippery. You gotta get out of range of these nuts. That's Troy 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 Baker. Drive real fast, don't get caught. Is this uh, Mr. Baker himself? I believe it is. Smashing stuff up right in front of them, they'll bring a world of pain down upon you. Got that? You got it, got it. Shit. You got a police scanner in there, I guess? Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't you? Do you have a police scanner as a kid? Yes. I always wanted one. Uh, they're they're kind of interesting. You can do a lot of that stuff online now, right? Yeah, there are a lot of uh, online streams of different, like, cities, uh, police ban. I, uh, was doing a project where I needed... Uh, police sounds from South Africa. Okay. So I just used Australia instead. <laughs> Close enough. I couldn't find a South African stream. These guys will catch up. Nope. Yo ho, boy. That car crunched pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I'm not going to be able to lose them on a straightaway, so I guess I'm going to have to get real exactly. squirrely and try and lose them that way, huh? I wonder if you can hide. I wonder if that's like a, a mechanic or <laughs> do you think you just like pull in somewhere and they would just go, hi, here you are. Uh, that was one of the interesting things about Watch Dogs, is it had a hide-in car... Right, like turn off lights button, and stuff. basically, like duck. Yeah! yeah you are way out, I'm Jeff! Way out of there. Is that bronze or gold? I that's can never tell. Yeah, okay. that, I think that's bronze. Alright, so we're gonna equip this part. You got plus two plus car! Two. My car is now level 19. That's, gosh, so much numbers. Yeah. Bucks. I got bucks. It looks like there's going to be some kind of like spend real money to unlock stuff early stuff in here too. There's mm. already you know, like hints of multiple currencies. All right, I should probably head back to the headquarters because I've, I've leveled up a couple of times and earned some perk points uh, that I could be spending on uh, some stuff. That's a dickish thing. Oh, well. Seriously, man. Detroit has had enough. Yeah. Anything to report? Just saved Troy from a stretch in jail. Same old, same old. I'll pick him up when you've got your ink. Stay on mission. Stay on mission. Do you get a tattoo when you join? Yes, that's. we are trying to get our 510 tattoo on our neck, because that's cool. That's yeah, it driver, is. Huh? Looking for that 510 ink? Who's this? Ugh. Your replacement. Unless you beat me on the track. The location's on your map. Oh, man.
we're gonna beat car racers. Anyway, we're going back to headquarters, um, where we can spend some perk points that we've earned from leveling up and kind of generally look at where we're at. Um, Do you have a team that's like helping you out, trying to infiltrate? That's the idea. That, that's kind of where the crew. It's like you, you got your crew. All right. Uh, Whoa! Remember that gun technology from Splinter Cell? Uh huh. Or uh, from was it Splinter Cell? No, it was uh, from one of the Rainbow Six Crisis? games. No, the one <laughs> where the, the gun totally split apart and you could shoot with Connect, and oh. the, the gun split apart all crazy. Yeah. That Ubisoft thing. Uh -huh. They use that for cars in this game. Okay. You mean all like, with Connect and stuff? No. Okay. Uh, but the the car splits apart all crazy. That's a great looking engine. Yeah, so I've got, you know, I've got my air system level 2 installed here, and, you know, you're kind of equipping parts along the way. Wow, so, look at that. Yeah. Differential. Pistons. Yep. Yeah. Shock Something's absorbers. It's doing stuff. Tires. Mm-hmm. The tires, I've got tires. I've got brakes, I've got brakes. Uh, and then I think, yeah, I have a level 6 weight reduction that I got from something that I can't equip yet because I'm not level 6. Hmm. Uh, you see, that would take my car up to level 26 Ooh. If, if equipped. Uh, and then, you know, in, in, inside here, you can get kind of the the nuts and bolts about what it's doing to, you know, acceleration, grip braking, that sort of stuff. How do you get new cars? You buy them. There are showrooms uh, around the country, each of which has different cars in them, um, and, and that sort of stuff. You can also buy parts, uh, which I have not had to do. Mm. You can also repair your car, which I'm not too sure, but see, 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 see? Mm. See? Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's the workshop. Also in here, we've got our collection. We can kind of see the, the different forms a car can take. Huh. Uh, dirt, performance, raid, circuit, you know, versions of this. Uh, what's this a raid 370Z. car? The raid car is the off-road one that's all built up all crazy. Different um, from dirt. Different from dirt. Raid is like for, for bumping people off the road. Okay. Uh, or bump people, you know, until they blow up. You know, the original Dirt game had a raid uh, race type, and it was awesome because mm. you raced like trucks, like not like not like eighteen wheelers, but like RVs. They were really okay. cool. That's a weird raid. Yeah. All right, let's go into perks here. This lady's just sitting in the office. Uh, so you see, I can... Ghostbusters. What do you want? Yeah, uh, I've got two perk points left here, so you can kind of spend them in these different uh, things here, and, and you know. I've already spent some, some to get more XP and cash from missions, which seems useful. Uh, cheaper parts. 2% chance of two perk points each level up. Uh, let's get some better breaking, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Good for things like that cop mission. Not so great for yeah. racing across like, the Like, I'm not doing a lot of co-op here in the, in the closed beta because a lot of the online stuff is really sketchy right now, so I'm not going to spend the point there. Um, I haven't had to buy parts yet, so that doesn't seem useful. The percent, percent eh, that's that seems like too limited. But let's let's just get more XP, level up faster, earn more perk points. Done. Yeah, I always go for uh, XP boosts early on. Yeah. Uh, then we've got kind of story progression and stuff. You can kind of see some of the cutscenes here. Coburn. Let's watch the Zoe cutscene. This is after I've been framed. I guess some time has passed at this point, uh, and I've been in jail for a while. Are you a terrorist? His glasses make you look like a terrorist, My Jeff. manifesto. I'm the free man. Hello, Alex. I traded I my crowbar see. for a car. I think we can help each other. This camera guy's got jitters. Yeah. Too much coffee. Yeah. You know these guys, right? Of course you do. One killed your yeah, mother. like the the jittery kind of camera style and just their general approach to, like, the auto racing scene makes it seem like this game was written years nine years ago or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. It looks good, though. I'm really impressed with these cutscenes. They are way better than I thought they were going to look. Yeah, they look nice for, for a driving game that doesn't necessarily need cutscenes. Like, it's, you know. You've got eight more years in here. Yeah. You can wipe that slate clean. Clear your name. Oh, performance sure. capture? Okay. You're here by working for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I got nothing against being on the right side of the law. Burn There's a ride in the shop across town. <laughs> Hi! I'll be in touch. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Whatever. 
gets you stoked. What's this game rated? Probably T. I don't know. There's been some light cursing, actually. Yeah, so the cutscenes are sort of like that. Okay. You know? Sure. Um, and then what else? Uh, there's a kit car. There are parts out in the world uh, you'll find, and you eventually build a kit car in each region, I guess. That's cool. Do they still make kit cars? Sure. Like, can you make a car in your garage? Is that still a thing people do? Yeah, probably. Why wouldn't they? I don't know. It's probably not illegal yet. Can you distill a car? Shh. I don't know why you would. I guess it's cheaper for a kit car. You could I think it's, it's, just a hobby. it's just a hobbyist thing. So, yeah. okay, let's go back and do that. So, you gotta work on that braking. Yeah, bit. that didn't seem like 4% better braking to me. Speed skill. Uh, so, you'll find these skill challenges around the world here. Wait, what did I start it? What's going on? Maybe I didn't start it. Anyway, there are skill challenges kind of placed around the world uh, that will ask you to, you know, like the speed one will be like, oh, you need to drive fast, and the the faster you drive, the better you do. You know, they have leaderboards and and medals associated with it, so there are parts associated with the with that as well uh, to kind of give you something else to do instead of just the story missions. That's, that's sort of what some of the side stuff is. Got it. Also, I can push down to the D-pad to honk my horn. Pretty good. All racing games should have a horn. I'm with you. They should. Have you seen any other cities? No, I haven't been out of Detroit yet. So okay. I, I kind of want to... I feel like I want to get my ink, and then like I feel like we should just hit the road. Yeah, all right. For me, on my hood, and I need to send a guy to St. Louis. Now, so hood in this so case, are you talking about your neighborhood or the front of your car? Loser takes it as uh, a life lesson, um, and this argument is over. I don't know. It ain't good for my bonnet. It's not good for my windscreen either. Takes another step towards their ink. Another step towards their ink. Come on. You don't even have your car. All right. That was a little anticlimactic. There's a guy in that car. Yep. It's Troy Baker in that car. All right, so all car levels increased by 25 because I hit That's, level five. Whoa, what? Oh wait, maximum level? Is that what that means? No, it's car levels? my car is now 47. Oh, right. Your car is different from your, your you. Yeah. Okay. I got a hot level four differential. Yeah. Upgrade that diff. Bonus speed. Let's put that on. I like that they make the parts easy. Yeah. You know, this game isn't trying to be a simulation. It's not necessarily about getting down and dirty with parts. Mm-hmm. All right, now we're gonna get. Okay, now this is not a cutscene. This is us just returning to. Now listen, I own Detroit. Mm, sorry about your investment, sir. Mm -hmm. Head down to St. Louis. I got some things I need you to do. Okay. I guess that gives us an opportunity to hit the road, huh? So, how'd it go? Good. Troy's moving on St. Louis, and I'm his weapon of choice. Looks like you've got a road trip ahead of you. Set a waypoint for St. Louis. I'll keep tracking you from here. Oh, and be careful around Troy. He's got a bad rap sheet. Great. I'll be in I don't know. He was in The Last of Us. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, get our map up here and I guess go to St. Louis. St. Louis? Oh. Mm hmm? St. Louis. Making a ghost. All right, I said that looked like uh, fast travel was grayed out. I think that's just because you haven't been yeah, there Yeah, because I haven't been there yet, probably. 
them's the Skyrim rules. Yep. Or could you could you fast travel if you've heard of it? I've heard of St. Louis. Right. And it wouldn't let me fast travel there. Mm. No stopping off at a gas station to get some snacks for the road or anything. No cha packing changes of clothes. Just, all right, cool. I won this drag race. Guess I'm going to St. Louis. <laughs> I like uh, that. Yeah. That's how I want to travel. Have you seen um, Jack Reacher? I have not. I bet it's terrible. It's, I, I hear it's bad, but you know, I, I it, still want to see it. Werner Herzog is uh -huh. the bad guy, yeah. so it's yeah. worth your time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Tom Cruise in that movie <laughs> travels like that. He wears like a shirt, and that's it. <laughs> he just man lives on the road. Okay, so here's a here's a skills challenge here. Jump skill. Yeehaw! Oh, I didn't even I didn't even make it to to bronze on that one. Hmm. That's one of those ones where once you know it's there, you just got to get more clearance, to back up more, and sure. make sure you're you're up to speed. Like the last jump that I hit upon randomly, I think I got a gold. That's why I got that level six uh, part that I can't equip yet. Nice. Okay. I like that they uh, they just have little things to do on your way down to St. Louis. Yeah. Like bump around in cars and. Yeah. You are the oh, most no. wanted. I banged around too much and attracted some attention. You are more wanted than anyone. I am number one on the blacklist. Sam Not Fisher a lot of turns to now. make here. Whoa. Sam Fisher and Razor Callahan's can be a whole. Oh wait, you know, I guess I could actually just do this. Oh, maybe not that, but... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no! What are my other options? Like, it says pay. Okay. Well, what if I just didn't... That's weird. That's really weird. All right, Jeff. That road goes to the left, but your waypoint is to the right. Can you just beeline it? Uh, if there weren't, wasn't so much water over here, yeah, I absolutely could. Uh, this car is not specced to uh, handle off-road stuff. Oh man! Well. But okay, so that means oh well, okay. That means it's totally oh. a valid thing to spec your car in an off-road way. Absolutely. That is uh, a great departure from other games of this ilk. I would, I would say. Yeah. That's kind of cool. You know, this is probably not faster no. than taking the roads with the way this car is yeah, specced, but let's hit this road and... You may want to toe jam and roll this. Yeah. Beep, beep. Take that corn! Yeah. I think this arrow on our map up here is a cop, so play it cool. Yep. That's right, Cochise. Go get yourself some more fried bread. Near miss. Hope, uh, hope was back there, Jeff. You missed it. Oh, oh well, I don't, I don't need any. Yeah. Scramble, smash the targets. Okay, what targets? These things. Oh, okay. Jeff, I'm kind of impressed with this so far. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of cool. There's a lot of stuff going on, you know? Oh, that's the gold medal ghost right there. Okay. So if I was ahead of that guy, I would be on track to get a gold medal. I am not ahead of that guy. Woof. 
All right, I'll take it. Motor tough, core. Tough, man. Yeah, this game seems like, you know, it, it seems it seems challenging. But uh, that was me installing that part. Oh, okay. So it put it, it drove, dragged me to a stop. It, it well, I mean, it seems like something you would want to upgrade your car and try again. And try again. Yeah. yeah. Someday we'll get to a point where knocking over power poles causes the power lines around them to drop. Hmm. That's the next, next, yeah. next generation. Yeah, fairly good distance between these cities. Yeah. These, uh, winding... Oh, uh, rural roads remind me of Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. Okay, you ever yeah. play that one? Yeah. Oh boy! So here we have a slalom. Nice. Oh. What? What did that part do, Jeff? Motorcore level four, help me! <laughs> wow, we were on the post. Uh, I, I, the posts are on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> no wonder they call them flyover states. Yeah. Woo! That's one way to get around the country. Oh. <sighs> Jeff, I don't think you're gonna make it. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> I could hit retry and actually warp back to that spot, but I that feels dishonest. <laughs> We're out here in the middle of nowhere. I yeah. wanna <laughs> uh, I made, made a software folks. Yeah. It's live demo. Don't fix that bug. Yeah, do not fix that bug. Oh great, here's a... For the love of God, stay on the line! Where's the line? Get back on the line! Which is the line? No metal there. But again, it's, it's it's incentive to upgrade your car. Yeah, and try stuff again, and, and you know, they let you kind of easily retry those events if you're if you're doing them and, and boning them up. Whoa! Oh, that's Woo. a hard pull. <laughs> yeah, you better get out of the way. It's a nice map. Yeah. No, that. Well, what are you trying to do? I was trying to just see if there was any spot over there I could fast travel to. Oh, hey, there's a, um... It appears there's a satellite dish in the area. So, to get all the things to show up on the map in each region, you have to go find uh, a satellite dish and kind of sync up. Scale the tower? You to, yeah, you have to climb a tower. Basically. Hmm. Uh, so I imagine that must be somewhere in here. That's must, cool. That must be why it's showing up there. Give you reason to poke around? Yeah. 
should I should I actually go to this place that we're pointed at, or should I just go some just start start driving? Uh, I mean, I feel like if you're you could you could head that way and happen upon things, you're already off the beaten path. Ah, uh, this big water here is probably gonna prevent me from just going west. But you think you could drive, say, to San Francisco, even though you haven't? Got, yeah, gotten yeah. There they did say that was in this closed beta. Was was the ability to just uh, get out and see the world? That's cool. They only have uh, some of the missions and stuff turned on for a couple of the regions, so you wouldn't be able to see the full game of you know, the full game side missions or anything like that. But but yeah. Well. So here's a speed skill. <laughs> drive fast. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, what's up? Just be cool. Be cool, you guys. Be cool. No. Hey. Oh. No. I said be cool. Your car is a wreck. Come back to HQ for repairs. That's not going to happen. No. There's that thing. Oh, yeah. That thing, that St. Louis thing. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I saw um, those big barrels. Those yellow barrels in a video game. Like I yeah. said, Detroit's got a little crowd for a man of my ambition. So we're setting up shop in St. Louis. I feel like this game is made by French speakers because they've spelled St. Louis Saint hyphen Lewis. Uh, which I have never seen the city no. referred to as ever. And that just seems like a French like <laughs> like yeah, like Saint Mary Louise or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so now we're seeing other human players. Oh, wow. It has linked us up with some people there. Okay. Uh, which means if we get to this event and start the event, we can at least ask them if they would like to play. Uh, they will probably say no. <laughs> and we start to hear voice chat from them as well. Is that what that fart was? Yep. We still have that webcam plugged in, so we might actually be talking. I don't know. Hmm. Hi, Internet! What? Whoa. Oh. Yeah, eat it, barrels. Oh, am I going the wrong way? I am. Oh, boy. Damn it. Flip it, Jeff. Should I just go up to the next exit? Oh, okay, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's pretty adamant about me turning around, huh? Do it! Right here! Nice. Handling feels all right. I mean, you know, the, the different cars and the different specs like feel differently when you're yeah. on the different terrain. You know, so they, they kind of get that stuff right. Uh, and it seems like a challenging game. Like, I definitely yeah, it looks pretty heavy. Have some stuff that is is uh, some some difficult stuff. Whether that's you know means you have to come back with an upgraded car or how they want to handle it, I, I don't know. But yeah, it just took us all the way back here. I wonder if the final game will have will say St. Louis like that. St. Hyphen Louis? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, take it. What I call St. Louis Ram. Mm-hmm. Try quick co-op and see what happens. Hello? 
So this just pops up in their screen like, hey, this guy wants to do this thing. You yeah. want to do this thing with this guy? Yeah. And then they'll get warped here. Yeah. Hey! All right, someone joined. Join your crew. But they don't seem to have joined the event. I don't know. Play cool, Jeff. All right, all right. So we'll do this with one other person. DJ Atomica here. Yeah, you got to take down the V two. Troy wants me to kill the St. Louis V two. Damn it! Take her down. I'll work on getting her off the streets. Protective custody, something. Rolling yeah. start! Yeah. Gotcha. So you both are trying to take down this yeah. V2 character. Yeah, so it just turns into co-op, turns into us working together. Which, you know, this guy is, like, way over-leveled for this mission, so that's actually kind of nice. Like, maybe, you know, it seems like he's having no trouble catching up. Whereas I am struggling. Hooray, fireworks. Hey! Pull over now! What? That's... Oh. <laughs> you put a bullet in my face? No, you're one of Troy's guys. I know how you roll. It ain't like that. I'm trying to help you. Oh, you want to help me? Then get the hell back to Detroit. Oh no, guy! Dick. <laughs> Get off my ass! Damn it. Ah. Whoa. Is it a sandstorm? What's going on? I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Ah. Oh, oh no. Oh. The other guy seems to have just given up. Seriously, man. Oh, he's coming up. Okay. Less time left. Oh, shit. Yeah! All right. That's for Britain, V2. Mm hmm. All right, let's All right. install that thing. I won. Zoe, we need to get this girl out of town before Troy finds her. Okay. Keep him busy while I work it through. It's never back in free drive, but we still have that other player with us. Stone Cold. With the V2 out of the game, we can start claiming territory for Detroit. Check your map for races, records to break, any way you can kick some St. Louis ass. How about instead? Let's drive for a while. Yeah? Let's see if we can get out of St. Louis and see some other parts of this great nation of ours mm. before, we, before we call it. I don't know. Yeah, th this game... Uh, seems like it has a lot of real potential to me. Uh... Yeah, and it, it, I, I can see what they're going for. 
and they seem to be doing it all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, they've got a lot of side stuff to kind of keep you busy as you go from one place to the next. Like, the storyline, I think, is executed really... It, it's, it's pretty corny. Sure. It's um, a little straightforward. But that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Uh, like, it, it could be funny along the way. For, yeah. For being kind of bad. Damn. Booking it through downtown. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Squeeze through the gates. Oh no, Jeff. I'm afraid. Let's fly. What? Oh. When you get to the end, does an abominable snowman come out and eat you? Yep. We're done with the gates. I'd much rather go here. Yeah. Oh. That was a little, uh, messy. All right. All right, well, I still got a medal. Good. I can't equip that part yet. No, but when you will, it's gonna be rad. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of cameras. Oh, okay, cool. Got it inside. Hey, look at that! And that even and also good. that. Oh, ho, ho. that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't. I don't think a lot of do a lot of games have look out the back window. No, that's super cool. And as you turn, it gives you some real lean. Ooh, yeah, some head movement. Yeah, I am impressed, Jeff. I don't think I'm going the right way anymore. Whatever, we're still going west. Yeah, where'd your line go? I don't know. That other guy left the crew. Maybe that maybe that destroyed mm. the line. Oh yeah, it was gold instead of blue. Yeah. So maybe that was like group waypoint. Alright, out here on the central plains. Hang glider up there. Hot air balloon Hot up air there. Hot air balloon. Cops. Add it to the uh, hot air balloon page. Yep. Hmm. Are you still going? Uh, I'm gonna go on west. California so, way. You know, like. Hey, it's a satellite dish. Yeah. What's the sign say? Mother Road 66. What? I'll draw a waypoint. Ooh, Pike's Peak. Yeah. Go to Pike's Peak. Uh, there's no actual waypoint there for me to what? to lock onto. If I got out there to the satellite dish, then then I could probably follow fill in road, some stuff. But, but there's no, there are no. Uh, I mean, yeah, I could definitely follow the road. I think. Yeah. Go north and then west. There you're going. Where are you going? Yeah. yeah, you're on there. Oh, but yeah, since the game doesn't have a lot of the... The, the beta doesn't have a lot of the side missions and stuff in other regions, so... There's no, like, there's no, marker for you to yeah. attach to? Okay. Whoa. But he's still around. He's 3.6 miles away oh, from yeah. That's weird. We're still, like, connected up, I guess. Even though we're not part of the same crew. You can still be friends, Jeff. No, man. Crew is everything. If you're not in the crew, you might as well be dead. Whoops. I was kind of looking where we are here. Oh, this is... Yeah, you gotta keep going north and then... Hmm. 
You can cut across there. Can I make a hard left? Go straight up that mountain before you go over the water. Yeah. Squirrel! Yeah. Whatever that was. So this is... Like, in reality... One giant map. Yep. Completely unlike Need for Speed The Run. Right. Which was smoke and mirrors. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not the scale. You know? it'll sure. Take, it sounds like it'll take you an hour, hour and a half to drive across it. That's still real impressive. Yeah, doing it. So All that's right. Pike's Peak, the uh, satellite dish on top of yeah. that mountain. Okay. And we're in Pike's Forest. Getting close then. Yeah. I, um... I hope there's a lot of off-road stuff. Or I, I hope there is at least a good amount mixed in. Yeah. Yeah, so far I've had one story mission that was an off-road mission. Yeah. Rocks. Okay. All right. Nice it doesn't warp you back to a yeah, road. Yeah, I was worried there for a sec. Also, Dirt 1 had a heck of a Pike's Peak hill climb event. That was so much fun. Get there! Yeah, you might have to zigzag. Yeah, serpentine. It's really nerve-wracking, too, because the Pike's Peak hill climb is like a long... It's a long event. Uh-huh. And there were no flashbacks in Dirt 1. Oh, geez. So it's just so. like white-knuckle racing. Which is why, in, in some in some ways, it's my favorite of the series. Like, I, I like the flashback. It's definitely convenient. It's convenient, but... and it allows you to take risks. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of, like, the fear that you would get, and the, the yeah, that you would get from, uh, from those early games, or from Dirt 1, is uh, unmatched in my experience. Okay. Oh. You got this. You got this. Damn it. Touch that satellite dish. It's so far away. <laughs> I thought, like, oh, it's just right up the hill. Like, no. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, that means that some other player seems to have alerted the cops. I guess. Can you then join him? I don't know. The cops? I'm going to have to like, relearn the entire physics. Something about physics. Which be you, Good, Good job, Ray Sand. Civil voice as well. I'm getting there. Yeah, if I learn from this quick look, you do not want to take a... 370Z. 370Z. Off-road. Well, if we had it outfitted for off-roading, we could do exactly that. You're right, and that would be pretty sweet. Yeah. And again, I, I really like the, the design of some of the cars and stuff when they put those other packages on them. Like, make them look like rally cars or something. Yeah. Strapping spare tires to the back of the hatchback and stuff. That's cool. Have they ever made a Dakar Rally game? Yeah, there was a game called Paris Dakar Rally. Mm. I'll say that might have been PS1. Okay. I hope that when we get up there, there's a road in like a really obvious there, way that would have been there would have been to go. But yeah, I, I just think don't there see is. it on the map too much. Oh. 
I mean, it's it's been tough getting there, Jeff, but I like that this is one of those games that you can set your own thing. Like, I'm going to do this, and you can go do it. Yeah. Oh, or you can, oh no. Do, you can try. Oh, no. Oh, that's not... Nope. Or you can watch your dreams slip away. Oh, no. What's it going on? What... I guess it's just too steep an incline. You might have to I just got zigzag no some more. I, I, I can't, like, it's not doing anything. Hmm. Can you reverse? Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Is this the. Okay, no. Nope. But that would be like. Skyrim trick. Squealing of tires on this dirt mountainside. <laughs> All right, well, I say now, instead, you just bomb down this hill. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay! All right. Yes! Yep. Okay. <laughs> Who says this 370Z is not an off-road vehicle? Yeah, look at it. Woo! Ow! Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, well. yeah, we know we got this. Yeah, we're fine. Keep we're fine. All right. <laughs> you can tell there's a, there's there's something going on physics-wise that's like. Preventing you from yeah, it's just not sure what to do. It's trying to keep you level. Yeah <laughs> The hill is oh, uh oh, no, that's fine. Oh, and this just keeps putting us right back here. Yeah huh? You see our car is taking damage uh -huh. uh, there on the left side you can see that that meter is draining I'm kind of curious to see what happens if if your car takes too much damage like, I could fast travel back to headquarters, but what fun would that be? You think that's what's happening when it busts you out to this? No, because it's still, you see... Oh, I see. Is, is persistent damage? Yeah, like, you have to spend currency to fix your car at headquarters. I'm just not really sure what the... Like, why that matters. Huh. Oh, that... Yeah. Physics. Oh, next car game. This is not. Nope. Nope. It looks like that other meter, like the gray meter. I wonder if it's just like doing permanent damage to the car. Like busted through the shields and now. It'd be cool if you could, like, um, skate style, like, make your own challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Get down this hill and get 380% damage on your car. I don't think my bumper's supposed to be doing that. No. I like it, though. Well, Jeff, is there anything else uh, we should check out in the crew no, beta? No, I, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, like I said, I, I got some codes for it. I'll, I'll, I'll throw them in the comments if cool. you want to check it out. It's running for the rest of the week. Uh, and they're Uplay codes, so you got to... Go ahead and punch him in a Uplay. All right. And then it'll download it and do all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's got a lot of potential. It's, uh, I hope this game pans out. Because, you know, they're, they're really, you know, it's like this and Forza Horizon 2 for kind of your open world racing. Mm. And uh, as much as I liked the original Horizon 
it's a more serious game than this is. Yeah. In in different ways. So you know the the kind of tuner streety kind of thing that, that this has going on is definitely appealing to me. Uh, in in the way that a Need for Speed would, and in a year with no Need for Speed, uh, like I said, they they picked the right time to ship this game. Great. So be very little competition for them out there to to get this thing established. So uh, yeah, the crew's out in November. Um, and this beta lasts this week, so. Great. Thanks, Drew. Thank you very much, Jeff.